Today is March 9th, going to day 29 of the carnivore diet. And like always, still feeling great. A um, couple updates. Went to the gym this morning and uh, felt incredible, as always. So funny thing I wanted to share, uh, since the whole point of the diet is to really stick to water, uh, the only thing I've been adding to my water lately is these LMNT packets, which has like sodium and salt and kind of gives you that little extra balance to everything. Uh, like I said before, I was looking into the research for the snake diet for a lot of people that do, you know, 72, 48, 7 day, 18 day, you know, however long they can fast for. Usually they recommend having sodium and salt added to your waters because, you know, you're going to start losing a lot of electrolytes, especially if you're someone that is doing that. And then on top of that, working out, which don't get me wrong, fasting and working out in a fasted state really, uh, it makes me, it feels better. I mean, I'm not sure how many other people uh, work out in a fasted state or anything like that. But it really feels amazing to me. I mean, it, you feel lighter, you feel more energetic, you know, it, it's, you don't feel as sluggish and heavy, you know, after you eat. But yeah, uh, that's a great thing that happened today. I want to do a huge shout out uh, real fast to Just Me Missy. Uh, your comments have been so helpful, especially in the last video. That was a real big thing. I mean, ever since I got out of the military and I started, I really saw myself. I've been trying to, I mean, even when I was starting, when I was in the military, when I started, I was leaving the military, really, and all the diagnoses were going on, and I was trying all kinds of different medications for my depression and anxiety and stuff, and the sleep pat machine, the nightmares, I was pretty much, if a lot of people don't realize this, food is definitely connected to your emotions a lot of times, especially if you you know, like they say, eat your feelings. I, I, you know, I was constantly, constantly eating. I mean, and I, once, you know, the whole Grubhub and Uber Eats and all those started coming out, it made it the best way to lower my interaction with people while getting, you know, my drug of choice, which could be pizza, boneless wings, endless amounts of garlic butter and uh, all kinds of Chinese food and tons of sushi and, you know, just anything I could find to eat. And then, you know, just drinking constantly and smoking cigarettes and all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, so really, I just want to do a nice shout out to Just Me Missy. I mean, I mean, thank you for the comments. I, I really appreciate it. anybody and everybody that comments. It's It really means a lot, especially coming out, you know, on such a public forum and trying to be so open and, and trying to build, you know, um, a timeline of where I, where I was and where I hope to be one day. Uh, but thank you for that. Another great shout out. Uh, sad to say, I, I was supposed to weigh myself today and I completely forgot with everything going on. Uh, tomorrow, I'm definitely going to weigh myself. To, tomorrow's going to be the 30 days and I'm going to jot everything down and I'm going to try to post it up on here for the Tuesday video. I'm going to put it on my social media page. And uh, I've been getting some weird comments from friends on Instagram, which has been really weird. An uh, old friend of mine who actually lives in Thailand now asked me if I eat bugs. <laughs> and I started thinking about it. I was like, no, mostly everything in the animal kingdom, which I thought was funny. If I want to know anybody on here ever try to eat bugs for protein, I know that certain Derivious tribes, and I know in Thailand and – Korea and a China and I know different places it's you know it's with all they had at the time you know between god knows how many wars and prav and like Pavin and warlords and all kinds of different stuff so I, I get it you know you kind of have to get what you get but I started thinking about it and then I also thought about the you know the nose to tail I mean we're kind of eating everything in there just a couple ideas I thought was funny um, another weird shout out so I know in the whole diet like I got off track from the whole water thing. Has anybody ever heard of liquid death? I thought this was the funniest thing. It's from Austria Alps, and it's it's just water, but it looks hilarious. I know, oh, man, he was in Magic Mike. I'm trying to think of the guy's name. He also played uh, the werewolf in um, True Blood. 
he actually uh, does like a sponsorship with Liquid Death where he like sold his soul uh, to be <laughs> gets to be a sponsor for Liquid Death. But uh, oddly enough, they actually have Liquid Death at the gas station that I usually stop at before I head out, you know, to school or work or the gym or wherever I go. But then I found out they had sparkling water, which I thought was hilarious because, you know, it's in a black can. So I just had to buy a case of it. I think I got a case of these tall boys. It was three, six, nine, twelve for like ten dollars, twelve dollars, something like that. Um, I don't know. I just thought it was funny because, you know, it's drinking water, you know, it's supposed to be good for you. But I mean, like eventually you just there's so much water you can drink that you, know, you kind of just want to mix things up. So I thought this was hilarious. I wasn't sure if anybody else uh, heard about that. If they did, let me know. Comments, comment down below. Let me know. Um, so I still plan on sticking to this routine tomorrow. Um, what I'm thinking, since tomorrow is using my long day, I'll have uh, acting and then um, my biology class and then math at the end. And then we go to the local moves to play Show Me the Money, uh, where oddly enough, I might be president soon. Uh, or one of the officers, but I still plan on doing this meal prep plan. Uh, tomorrow night, I'm probably going to go into more detail about it, but I mean, it's pretty plain and simple. I mean, meal plans is chapter three, and it actually has, you know, meal one, the menu, breakfast, salmon, French eggs, dinner, bacon wrapped pork, pork chops, um, bowl of egg, scramble for two. I mean, it goes you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way down, Monday through Sunday, and it pretty much doesn't change, you know, because week two is a different menu, ham and cheese, and it's pretty simple. I kind of want, since my overall goal is weight loss, I want to stick to a, I guess you would say stricter meat plan, you know, because um, I'm not really snacking, but something more, I guess, solid now that I have more of the resources, because when I first started this, you know, it's like stopping at Publix or stopping at Walmart and just grabbing wings or meat or whatever it is it was or going out to eat. So now I want to make it more of a structured thing. I'm actually looking at a smoker. That was another thing I wanted to talk about. If anybody is ever smoked meat or has a smoker, any recommendations, please let me know. I would love to. I'm going to try to do a video series of me figuring out how to use that. But um, yeah, that's everything for now. Uh, really appreciate everybody that's commented, everyone that's subscribed. I mean, you know, tomorrow's going to be 30 days and I can't believe it. You know, it's, it's incredible. Uh, but see you guys on the next one. Bye.